William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him, King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck. While out hunting, he was killed. William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry I. But there was a problem. At the time, Henry's elder brother, Robert, Duke of Normandy, had been on crusade. When he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother but he failed and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. This rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. <coughs> Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother, Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Yeah, yeah, we are.
Ura! Garu, fed up. Leo, the heads are sterile, team. Let us ask on. West in the airwa. Stropore, get Garwigan, a set up. Get to the ready for Yema, Hessa Kume, Vera, on Muna. Strelbo, Yerwa, Gatch Will, Gatch Strel. Get a deck to Sustro, Garu Muka, mid May. Defensible location to construct it. Yeah, we can stand the name of the 
now called for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. Look at your beauty ready, Frekis. What 
protesters. Strabor and Yerwa. Head Beth Pulda. The Eru Sierra Way sent Yerwin. What festers? Strelbora, Sidde. A Buga, yes, Yaru. The Eru Sierra Yaru. Yes, sir. It shall be him ready. What's our faith, eh? Each you say, yes, sir. Fail me. Each timber fails. Yes, sir. Where's the water? Henry's presence on the doorstep of Bayeux would not go unanswered, and now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. that so long as Bayeux still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Obeisance is Arne Athu. Redende, so ahead. And your work, huh? Eat your work. <laughs> and your work. Big wheel of duty. Each team for a thanks. Fine, 
with the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. No, Tulkes, set at your list and bear us. It's living to hear it. You're a Get what, Garwiyan? Here we are. Don't the thunder. At least three what thought be on us. We sent here with. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayeux, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. Oh, my God. 
As Bayer burned and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown.